Joining me now is journalist and writer Julie Sago. Julie, you were one of the names on that list. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about being doxxed? Look, yes, my name uh, was on the list, Rita, and my God, I never thought that I'd have to be speaking about lists of Jews <laughs> being drawn up mm. and released in Australia in 2024. Uh, yes, I was a member of the group, not a particularly active member of the group, and might I say I'm, I'm not speaking on their behalf here now. Uh, I myself was, to be honest, proud to be on a list of Jews who are doing nothing but coming together and sharing our grief and our trauma about October 7th and the awful sort of resurgence, the outbreak of anti-Semitism that came almost immediately after the massacre. And I, but obviously there are people who have suffered very greatly as a result of this doxing, as mm. you know, people who have lost their businesses, who have been forced to move to another suburb. I personally feel proud and I'll never kind of disavow the fact that I'm a proud Jew and I'm a proud Zionist. I believe in the right of Israel to exist and I believe in the right of the Australian Jewish community to push back against some of the abuse and uh, that they have been experiencing and to exercise their democratic right to advocate for their interests. Now, I'm not a Jew, but I am a Zionist, and that has become the most misunderstood word. It's become a dirty phrase almost. Do you think there's just mass ignorance about what Zionism is, that it just means that you believe in the right of Israel to exist and to defend itself uh, because it's now thrown around like a slur. It is, uh, and I think that you're right to some degree there's ignorance about it. To be a Zionist, uh, as I am too, is really just to, at its minimum, to believe in the right of the Jewish people to self-determination, uh, the right of Israel to exist as a Jewish democratic state. Mm. But these days, really, if you just put the word Zionist there instead of Jew, you can say almost anything. It seems the, the yep. sky's the limit in terms of the kind of tropes that you can put out there, traditional anti-Semitic tropes to the extent that we have seen a member of the New South Wales Parliament, Jenny Leong, member of the Greens, talk about Jews and their tentacles in social justice movements, uh, as if we are a sinister people always working towards some nefarious purpose. Um, this is just anti-Semitism that, you know, I, I thought the world had left behind, certainly the Western world. Now, the Herald Sun reported on Friday that Jewish families and businesses were leaving the inner north of Melbourne due to the climate of uh, hate and hostility they're facing. Uh, many in that Jewish community, Julie, lean left themselves. Uh, are they particularly shocked that people they considered to be allies turn out to hold such ugly views towards them? Absolutely. There's an incredible amount of shock and shock and disbelief, hurt, on this WhatsApp group, as you said, it's a group of creatives. I don't know why I'm on it. I'm not particularly creative, but uh, creatives and academics. Uh, these are people who naturally probably a lot of them lean left. They certainly have a range of views on the conflict uh, and Israel's assault on Gaza. And they have just seen the humanity of Jewish people just completely diminished to the point where, you know, these, these left-wing activists can't, can't express sympathy with Israeli women who found themselves the victims of systematic rape on October 7. They can't even bring it, they can't even bring themselves to accept that that happened and to express the necessary condemnation. I mean, we're in 
we're in a place now that just beggars belief. Julie Sago, thank you so much for your time this evening. Really do appreciate it.